Hello everyone, Colby here, and it is episode 3 of Rust Insight. Today we will be going over the basic weapons and the sort of more advanced weapons in the game and the functions they provide to you and also the equipment, the attachments and the damage they do. So, when you get in the game, you will be able to make a hatchet, you will be able to make all these different kinds of things. Uh, you will notice, however, you won't be able to make an M4, an F1 grenade. You will only be able to make a 9mm pistol, a hatchet, a hunting bow, hand cannon, and pipe shotgun. So, basically, all of the weapons in the game will help protect you. They are what you want. They are one of your main goals. If you notice, what I am actually holding right now is different weapons as well as a few attachments you may notice on these different guns. So, when you get in the game, th the best weapon you will want to make as soon as possible is the 9mm pistol. Now, this gun is actually quite good, um, and it will be able to protect you for quite some time. So, what you will want to do is you will want to First of all, make a hunting bow. The hunting bow, I'll, I have shown it off in other videos, but it is quite good and it is basically the first thing you will want to have made, the weapon anyway. Um, it provides a good range distance, a very good range distance in fact, um, decent damage and will normally take down an average wolf, wolf in roughly two shots and the average uh, zombie in a shot. Bears are more tricky with this weapon though and require roughly four to six depending on where you hit. After that you will want the pistol. The pistol is a very good gun and it's quite cheap to make. It's quite cheap ammo and it does quite a good amount of damage and has a quite a good range distance. So when you get it you won't have a flashlight like me, like me, it will just be like this. Neither will you have a silencer, however, that's just an added feature. So when you're approaching a animal or whatever you want to take out, you will notice that by right clicking you'll be able to aim down the sight. Now obviously a headshot is always the best place to go for, so you shoot, they'll aggro, and you'll notice that the bear takes roughly... <laughs> eight bullets. The bear unfortunately is one of the um, uh, animals in the game that are actually not very affected by the pistol because different animals such as this buck die in about three hits uh, which is quite good and very useful for when you want food. So it takes four on a pig, three on a buck and eight on a bear. Uh, the next weapon is the M4. Now this is a pretty good weapon and I will show you it when it's a bit lighter because I don't have a flashlight on it currently. But it deals uh, 35 damage, it has a fire rate of 8 and a recoil of 8, a range of 140. The pistol on the other hand had a damage of 33 so close to the damage of an M4, a recoil of 11 and a range of 120. So the M4 has less of a range which is very useful in fact. So yeah it's a good weapon. Um, I will cut now. I have to hand it to the developers of the game though. The guns really do look beautiful. Um, so you will notice that I actually have some attachments on here, so ignore the holographic sight, you will have the standard um, barrel sight. So when you uh, look down the sight and you shoot, it's got quite a good high, uh, fire rate. Um, and it does a very good amount of damage. Unfortunately I can't really show you off is like to shoot a 
uh, animal, but it is roughly one shot to the head on zombies, uh, one shot, to, uh, two shots to the body on the zombie. Um, it's roughly uh, six to ten on a bear, uh, two on a pig, and roughly one to two on a buck. So it is a very good weapon. It uses where are they? I don't actually have any on me. This is just brilliant. But it uses 5.56 five, ammo. Which will be unlocked. Um, if you find some, you will be able to find them in crates and things. Um, they're really quick to make once you've researched them. Uh, and they do pretty good damage, actually. So, basically... How you make an M4 is you will need to go around looking for an M4 blueprint. These blueprints will enable you to make them. It will cost 25 low quality metal and it's quite a good trade off if I am honest. Okay, so on to the next gun. The next gun is the shotty. The shotty is one of my favorite weapons for all the amount of damage it does. If you can line up a perfect shot you can take down almost any monster or almost any animal in one hit. It's it's widespread, so it's technically multiple hits, but with one um, round. It fires in a cone-like sort of shape. Because uh, I have a silencer on it, it's a bit less quiet, but uh, it does a lot of damage. Uh, it has a damage of 180, that is absolutely amazing compared to the 35 on an M4. It has a fire rate of uh, 0.6 every second, and a recoil of 15, as well as a range of 30. It's very good, and it's definitely a weapon I would choose. Okay, so I don't have the other guns to show you, but you will be able to make a hand cannon, which is a pretty basic gun. I'll make one now. Uh, you can also make the pipe shotgun, which is a fire rate of 1, a damage of 144, a recoil of 28, a range of 80. It hasn't actually got a description, but it will be similar to the actual shotgun. Uh, it will probably provide a decent uh, range and a decent cone pattern. And it will probably take down most animals in one to two hits. Um, the hand cannon, however, is a more robust sort of gun. Um, it basically is handmade and um, takes homemade ammo or handmade shells. Uh, what you'll have to do is when you have some handmade shells, you will have to strike it to light it and it's random when it goes off it could take a few hits it could take hardly any I'll show you it now so this is what it looks like it's like sort of a cartridge placed in a wooden um, handle so when you notice that it strikes and it will go off at a random period it has a very widespread so it's not exactly that efficient but it has a decent amount of damage, which is actually really good. Okay, the next weapon is definitely the more interesting. And yep, that's right, it's a grenade. These grenades are, as far as I'm aware, one of the only grenades actually in the game. Uh, they are very costly to make. I believe it is roughly... Um, 80 gunpowder and 25 metal fragments but when you have it you'll be able to check it wait a few seconds and it will blow up in an awesome looking way these do a ton of damage so when you're getting attacked by a player these are really ideal um, they have oh well they have no stats but I imagine they do quite a hefty amount of damage Okay, so this has been the weapons. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it informational. Informational? Is that even a word? If you like this video, please like this video. <laughs> uh, comment and subscribe for more Rust Insight videos. The next video will be going over research and other methods. 
Okay, so this has been Colby and have a nice day.